For he that is faithful in little, much more shall be given to him. This mantra embodies this man of excellence, serving as honorable member at the prestigious legal state house of assembly for four consecutive terms is truly no mean feat, but a testament of his groundbreaking imprint on his constituency, all-inclusive leadership, ultra-sacrifice, grassroots impact, uncommon politicking and political sagacity. The giant leap he has decided to take from the Lagos State House of Assembly to the Nigerian Senate is proof of the experience he has garnered over these years, his impact that strangely transcends his constituency to the whole of Lagos East Senatorial District, the respect and admiration he commands amongst his peers, and the followership and ironclad support he enjoys not just from his constituency, but the whole of Lagos East. The time has come for Lagos East to experience quality, robust representation and feel the impact from the national level to the grassroots. And only one man has the capacity to deliver. Honorable Adebayo Sikiru Oshino Peperito. My name is Ademo Rikuye. I'm from Shomolu local government. Was former chairman of Shomolu local government, former commissioner for local government and chief Safia, and presently I say to the Minister of Labor on arbitration. Well, um, let's speak it from there. I'm going to be very, very biased. He's my brother. Firstly, he's my brother. We are from the same home. And um, he's from my senatorial district. He's my leader. He's somebody who's been loyal to me as a follower, as a brother, and as a family. And this is the payback time for me to show my sense of loyalty. What you are seeing here is reward of his loyalty to the leadership of the party, his loyalty to his followers, his loyalty to the people of this senatorial district. Even though he was a member of the House of Assembly, he was acting, he was helping people out of his own immediate constituency as if a time like this was going to come and it has come and that's why you see so many people all over throwing themselves over themselves in order to show faith that here I am to show to pay back for all your good deeds well I expect the senatorial district to overwhelmingly vote for him at the primary and vote for him at the general election. I want to say, watch out. And I, I, I don't normally, I'm not a flipper person. I'm saying this, watch out for his vote. He's likely to come up with the largest vote of the three senatorial districts in Lagos. You can see the passion. These people were not mobilized. They mobilized themselves. People, I can tell you authoritatively, as close as I am to you, People have been spending their own money to do everything that you see here. He's a man of the people. He's a grassroots politician. He's loved by the people. And he's an orator. He's somebody who is full of wisdom. He's full of knowledge. Native intelligence he stands out. I am an honorable Shinawa met in 2003 as a, a elected representative of the State House of Assembly. For me, he's more than capable. He's the most qualified among all the aspirants. He has the experience. He has served for almost 60 years in the state parliament, and that is more than enough experience. And he's a man of the people, he's a man of intent. And it's a man that cares about people. So this is what representation is all about. So I'm sure he's the best about them. In the words of Martin Luther King Jr., the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. The life of this quintessential legislator is living proof of this statement. His struggles have ultimately defined him in Nigerian politics. 
The choices he has made in adverse times have shown that he has never been a man to renege on his beliefs. The causes he has championed a testament of his values and principles. This is to say almost nothing of the unprecedented role he has played in leading his people out of the doldrums, a pointer to his outstanding and astute leadership as a Democrat par excellence. From his primary education at St. Augustine Primary School Ijebu Odeison to Grammar School Ijebu Odeison, where he completed his secondary education before obtaining a diploma in building and a master's degree in communication from the prestigious Italy Instituto Pedro Rome, Italy. His penchant for excellence is worthy of note. His drive and zeal to serve his fatherland led him to work for the Federal Ministry of Works as a land officer between 1977 and 1979. He then sojourned into the private sector upon returning from his higher education in Italy, setting up his own company, Nitel International, in 1986. He brought his astounding experience and incredible expertise and ingenuity to the fore as he also set up Nimco Construction Company Limited, Exchange Piling Construction Limited and Nimco Dredging Company Limited between 1990 and 2003, evidence of him being a consummate entrepreneur. Dr. Tola Kasali from Ibeg University. Honorable Pepe is been a political friend, very good friend, and a leader. And we have been in the politics of Lagos State since 1999 together. So, and he has represented his local government at the State Assembly, and it performed extremely well. And he is a thorough great politician, and he knows the in and out of politics, the intrigues, the compromise, and he, he believes in people coming together to achieve something. And quality is about people and interest. And it's not just that when you get to position, you forget all the other people. When Tata gets to position, he takes care of people. He cares about people who are around him. And we looked at him as somebody that can represent our district, our senatorial district at the National Assembly, and project the image of Lagos State at the National Assembly. Yes, we are supporting him. My expectation is that he will continue to be himself. He will continue to look after the interests of the people of the East Senatorial District. Before he was looking for the, uh, the interests of the Koshafe constituency. <laughs> yeah. But now he's going to look at the interests of the East Senatorial District and it's going to give us good representation. My name uh, is Royal Majesty Anayelua Oba Bashir Olontui Saliu, the Oba of Urunshoki and the permanent chairman of Kushofer Local Government Oba and Chief in Council. Honorable Sikiro Bayo happens to be my subject, one of, one of my decent subjects, and he's a good person who knows how to manage all problems and crises within the local government. He will perform credibly well, he's been performing. He's a member of our Lagos State House of Assembly here, and he's been there for about four or five times consecutive okay. And he performed credibly. Well. That is why you can see. What about you are doing? I'm going to be one year your lama to pass the
despite all his achievements and successes as a businessman, something was amiss. He couldn't take a back seat in the midst of tyranny by the then Nigerian military government. His sojourn into politics would mark the beginning of a truly free Nigeria. He began grassroots mobilization for the then NPA as a prominent youth chairman during the Second Republic. But perhaps his defining moment in Nigerian politics was his key role in the emergence of the late MKO Abiola's president-elect under the defunct SDP during the Arnold June 12, 1993 elections. He kept fighting for the recognition of the mandate, leading to his detention with other progressives throughout General Sani Abacha's regime and beyond. He remained incarcerated and imprisoned long after the death of M.K. Abiola, despite the government of the day declaring that it had no political prisoners in her custody. But with every adversity comes with it the seed of an equivalent advantage. Whilst in prison, he encountered his creator and found hope once again. As his struggles came to an end, the only thing that kept him in politics in spite of opposition and threats to his life would be his faith in God and belief that the political concept could be changed to align with what he had discovered, that only God's will can be done. His comeback to the Nigerian political scene has been the stuff of legends, like an old wine in a new bottle. He pitched his tent with a party formed by a large chunk of his fellow progressives deeply rooted in Nigeria's fight for democracy during the military era. The Alliance for Democracy AD which metamorphosed to the ACN and now the ruling APC. What a master stroke it has been. My name is Prince Ailewa Ledeji, a very close friend of Bayos, you know what, honorable. The senator in the making, too honest. Honest to a fault, and he's a, he's a first class humanitarian. He fear God all the days of his life. So he can never fail in anything, he can never fail. Because he has full fear of God all the days of his life. We met in the club, civil service club, Bikeja. That's how we met. And we've been friends since then. My statement is that God has crowned it. He's a senator already. Because he fear God, God has crowned it. He stand by God already. He's a senator. From now on, I'll call him Senator Bayo or Senator Wo. He has won already. His Royal Majesty of Ajimo, Adewale, Olawale Kul, Olojota of Ojota, of Ojota Kingdom, in Koshofe local government. I've known uh, Oshinawa for a long time, more than 18 to 20 years now. Uh, when I was, uh, I'm still a politician. It's true that uh, I am an Oba, but still a politician. My party is uh, Ajib, any government in power. You understand? But I support the APC. Um, Honorable Sikiru Oshinawa is well known to me as a great, a great, a great politician who have a future. He have a future. Uh, when I met him years ago, before the inspection of uh, AP, uh, AD, AD, and uh, myself and him. We are so close, and now that I am the KBC of Ojota, he's giving me a lot of support. He's so nice to me, he's so nice to me, and that is the reason why I think if he represents us in Abuja as a senator, he will perform very, very well. But because what he has done for us in Kushofe, to me, to me, he did very, very well. As of of Koshofe, I believe if Kush, if Shikiru or Shinawa goes to Abuja as a senator, he will perform very, very well.
advise him to do, he should continue as he's doing. Because he loves people, he loves anybody that goes to his house. He will always make the person happy. You understand? If you there, if you go there and you cry, he make you that at the end of the day you will laugh. So I wish him to continue like that. And by the grace of God, the future, his future will be bright. And sky, sky is the limit of a hero. His extraordinary vision to bring change and development to his constituents led him to contest for the House of Assembly seat in 2003 and what manner of transformation he has brought to his people and indeed to the Lagos State House of Assembly, occupying and playing the much needed fatherly role in the house. Today he is helping to transform lives from nothingness to greatness. He has brought an end to unfulfilled promises by those they have previously trusted with their votes for the past 15 years. He has epitomized quality unprecedented representation for his people. Knowing his humble beginnings and the struggles of his early years, he has never been one to forget his roots, becoming a beacon of hope as his propensity for helping the poor and despondent, not just in his constituency but well beyond, is well documented. A philanthropist in every sense of the word, he would gladly spend on the people and the causes important to them, anchoring his actions on the fact that only what you give truly belongs to you, because it comes back and every life touched has a ripple effect in making society better. Knowing there couldn't be a better man for the job, in order to instill the values of professionalism and discipline, the leadership of the house in its wisdom, made in chairman house committee on lands considering his experience in the public and private sectors the city of lagos is one of africa's fastest developing cities partly thanks to him no wonder he was awarded the legislator of the year for 2011 the award for excellent performance on re-election into the lagos state house of assembly for the fourth consecutive term the exemplary leader of the year 2014 in the legislative house and the true son of Islam in recognition and appreciation of his commitment and interest in child education amongst many more. A light to his family and far beyond, he is married to the very delectable Mrs. Miriam Ayo Dele Oshino and they are blessed with three children. A seasoned legislator, he has remained unflinching in his promotion of the One Lagos concept where everyone irrespective of class, creed or tribe is given an opportunity. Yes, uh, this is Olu Akerele, the Atomashe of Ijecha Land. We met several years ago while I was a uh, personal assistant to the late MKO and uh, Pepe too was uh, an ally of the late Big man. 1992, so you can take that from past 26 years, yes. We were together uh, at the tick of uh, June 12 struggle. Uh, I was based in Abuja and I uh, used to come to Lagos to consult with the late MK. That was when I met Bayo. Uh, 
observe that uh, <clears throat> Bayo was close to the man because uh, each time the decision has to be taken, MK will always uh, seek Bayo's uh, opinion. So that was when I got closer to him and they will remain friends ever since. Bayo Pepe is a consummate uh, politician and uh, very loyal to the core. If he believes in anything, he will do everything, humanly possible, to get that particular thing. Oh, but one thing about Bayo is this. He's a good organizer of men. And uh, he is a crowd puller and a grassroots person. I visited him in his office, said that uh, that is as a uh, member of assembly here in Lagos. And each time I get to that office, uh, he's always swarmed with uh, his colleagues, the uh, other members coming to seek uh, advice, and then others from outside coming to seek uh, help. And this man will be there for several hours, 10 hours, 15 hours, attending to all shades of people, politicians, and those who came for personal help. At times, the man will leave his office at 2 a.m., whereas the house had already closed since 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. But I will be there to attend to everyone. That is uh, the bio workaholic that I know. Then go to his house again. As early as 6 a.m., people are already swarming the place again from all parts of Lagos, not even his own constituency, and by all the listener, the good listener will always be there to, to talk to these people and to solve their problems. So I'm sure he's going to represent uh, uh, his people, that is Lagos uh, East Central District, very well because uh, he is a selfless person. He believes in the welfare of everybody. And that is why people swarm around him. I give kudos to our fearless leader, Swaju Bola Metinobo, for backing him up at this stage. Bayo is workaholic, and I'm sure that uh, he is going to take. Uh, active part in uh, getting things done for not only for the East Central District but for Lagos when it gets to Abuja. He has the experience, 16 years in Lagos is no joke and I'm sure with the backing of uh, his colleagues he will go all out to get Lagos, fair deal. My name is Alaji Bado Edele from the Bejuleki local government. We've been together for long, for long, and we've been, we've been in politics together. He's a friend, he's a colleague, and he's been a very sincere and loyal person. Uh, for over 25 years, over 25 years, Papa is a grassroots person. He's really a grassroots person, and he's, the man, he's a man of the people. So I'm sure he is going to be the best senator we have in our senatorial district. I don't see any competitor. I'm sure Papa is going to sail through in a very big way. I'm His Royal Majesty, our Dr. Isiaka Adeyo, Ade Tutu Balo Gumo Yoro, uh, the Oba of Ketu, the Kojofai local government. Well, it has been long as an Oba. Even before I became an Oba, I've known him for a very, very long time. Uh, he's a man of value. 
very hard working even before he was uh, uh, nominated and elected to the house of assembly in lagos state he has been a very helpful person even in his own community and beyond well he has been doing this and i believe he continues to do more because uh, even in his house everybody knows him there in his area in his community nobody will say he does not know uh, Peperito as the man of a uh, hard-working person, diligent. Okay. <laughs> So our people are blessed with this seasoned lawmaker, a quintessential strategist, a political juggernaut, a leader of outstanding perspicuity, a democrat par excellence, a grassroots powerhouse, and an avant-garde in the business of quality legislation. Your leadership has been nothing short of inspiring. Honorable Sikiru Adebayo Oshino. That's why you can rest assured that the great people of Lagos East are rooting for you come 2019. Elders, men, women, fathers, mothers. We need a man with the experience and most importantly, the political will to deliver. He has proven himself more than faithful with the little we entrusted in his hands. It is only right that we entrust something greater with him. This is the man we need. This is the man we want. This is the man that has been set to lead us to our dreams. Yes, he can. Yes, he will. APC Progress. Peperito Abuja Street.